Okay, so Ariana Grande released her sixth studio album, Positions, October 30th last month, and I have taken my time with it. Now, let's talk about it. Let's get into Positions. Why did I just f***ing say that? So, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's get into Positions? What the f***? So Ariana Grande has made huge strides in her career to the point where you may even put her, you know, with the big dogs in pop like Taylor or even Rihanna. And yeah, she doesn't sell like those artists, but you can't deny the reach that she's had in the industry, taking home the Billboard chart achievement for top female artists in 2019. She has grown substantially in the last three to four years. Her last two LPs, Sweetener, which was released in 2018, and Thank You Next, released in 2019. This is when we saw the dominance of Ari, topping the charts when pop was still and is being considered a dying genre. As the world sees hip hop and trap take the number one spot for the most consumed music genre in the US. Sweetener and Thank You Next were released six months apart. The only major pop artist I've ever seen done that was Rihanna, who released four projects between 2010 to 2013. Now, these ladies are going against the traditional pop release standards. And also, side note, we are now in the golden age of music, where music come and goes just like that. And people really have, you know, short attention spans nowadays. So it kind of makes sense for everyone to release music, you know, as soon as possible but i don't know if it's a good thing but yeah let me know in the comment section what you think about artists releasing you know music so quickly you know album after album year after year let me know what you think about that in the comments now 2020 and we have another swift release from the artist positions i'm not gonna lie for the first few days, I really did not like it. I was really underwhelmed and it dawned on me. You know, I was expecting another thank you next. Could be alone tonight. You could say I love you through the phone tonight. Really don't wanna be in your But Ariana Grande is not that artist who tries to top her previous bodies of work. She also cited on an interview on Zach Sang show that she is not that artist and she would be unhappy if, you know, she would take that route. So after I recompartmentalized and just accepted positions for what it is, it's really a great body of work and yet another progression for Ari. And she's in love and it comes through on this record. She's more chill, more relaxed. And I also want to say she is horny as hell on this record. But without it being cringe or pretentious, this sexy and confident woman um, that she has, you know, become really shines through. You know, she has lines like where she's saying she just want to until the daylight and it just goes over your head. It's not pretentious at all. It's very chill. The lead single from the project positions the track she named the album from received mixed reviews online when I checked, but the positives did shine through as Positions debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and right after the album followed Pursuit, debuting at number one on the Billboard 200 charts with 174,000 album equivalent units, making this her fifth number one album. With Positions, we have a mixture of R&B, Trap, Neo Soul, and it also has this magical feel, almost Disney, but in a really good way. And this was one of the major problems I had with it initially, but not anymore, as this sounds nothing like what's out right now. All of the tracks from Position made an entry on Billboard simultaneously. With this feat, Ariana Grande joins Beyonce for Lemonade and Taylor Swift for Lover and Folklore as females to do this in the chart's history. Side note, she also did this with her previous release, Thank You Next. All songs from Thank You Next also charted simultaneously when it was released. Every track serves its purpose and none of them are bad, but I could do without West Side. It's just okay for me. And West Side feels like a song I would rather see the R&B singer her sing. 
my favorite tracks were 34 plus 35 off the table featuring the weekend like that was amazing 630 hair nasty and positions and also the last track on the album pov in the chorus ariana grande sings wanna love me the way that you love me for all of my pretty and all of my ugly too i'd love to see me from your point of view like i don't think i've ever heard that pov in a song before honestly i don't need another ariana grande album anytime soon i think the fans have you know have been tied over with plenty of tracks ariana actually is talented so i don't think she needs to be releasing you know albums every year or every six months but if she wants to release another album i will definitely you know you know tune in so yeah i won't complain and i will definitely be here to talk about it and yeah that's just my take on ariana grande's new album positions it's a good album definitely go ahead and check it out and if you're still here thank you so much for you know chilling with me on this video uh let me know what your favorite song on positions is as i said mine is pov and i also missed out the song with um ty dollar sign like that that song is fire safety net that song is fire and if you haven't as yet don't forget to murder that like button murder it sick it kill it do it <laughs> like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this and yeah you can watch other videos i have other videos on the channel go ahead and check them out as well watch them 10 times i don't know do what you want <laughs> i am done and i will see you in the next video